First, we begin with that devastating day for the New Haven community. A firefighter killed while battling an overnight house fire. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi at fire headquarters with an update. A very emotional day here at fire headquarters. A prayer was said here before the fire chief came out to publicly identify that firefighter who was killed. And we now know that he is Ricardo Torres Jr. He joined the department here back in July of 2019, and he is being remembered as a son, husband, father, and a hero. Now we're on to 1245 this morning. That's when the fire broke out at a multifamily home on Valley Street. When crews got there, the fire chief says there were heavy flames pouring out of the home and reports of multiple people trapped. The fire is believed to have started in the basement. A second alarm was called in. The fire chief says that two people, including an 84 year old woman, were rescued. One was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. The other was treated on scene and both are OK. Now the fire chief says soon after the second alarm was called in, a fire Firefighter had reported being lost and disoriented and a May Day was called in. So the rescue team was activated and it actually turned out that two firefighters were unconscious. The lieutenant was taken to the hospital for respiratory injuries and remains in critical condition. And Torres unfortunately died of his injuries. The fire chief and mayor today obviously both very emotional, thanking the fire department for how they have been handling this loss with compassion and for how they came together to support the firefighters family. It is with a heavy heart that we uh, extend our condolences to the Torres family and our prayers and support to the Rankins family. New Haven Fire Department, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Now the cause of the fire remains under investigation today. Meanwhile, Governor Lamont has ordered flags fly at half staff. You know, at one point, the fire chief holding back tears. He mentioned that Torres wanted to be a firefighter since he was a little kid. The fire chief went on to say that he interviewed him and hired him and was so incredibly proud of him and that he died doing what he loved in New Haven. Lauren Fabrizi, News 12 Connecticut. So terribly sad for their family. Tributes are pouring in from across the state. On Twitter, the Norwalk Fire Department sends deepest sympathies to our brothers and sisters in the New Haven Fire Department. Our thoughts are with you and your families. The Bridgeport Fire Department tweeting, you have our blessings and our prayers for a New Haven fire and the family of your fallen hero. And Bethel Fire and EMS posting on Facebook, please join us in keeping our brothers and sisters of the New Haven Fire Department, their families and the fallen in your thoughts and prayers.